If you've just installed a new game on your system and Ghub can't detect it to give you an automatic profile, uh, chances are either the game isn't supported by Ghub or you need to add it manually. Now to add a game manually, just click on the profile dropdown in the top right and then go ahead and click the manage profiles button, which will show up all of the different profiles you have. Now with any luck, once you click the scan now button, the scanning should finish and you should see the profile show up, but it isn't really showing up here. So what you can do, you can go ahead and click on this add game or application button. Once you click on it, this opens up a Windows Explorer window where you can go ahead and find the executable file that triggers your particular program. So for example, I can go ahead to my game library and go to, let's say, EA, I already have that, uh, Xbox, hey, there should be a Steam library right here. Yes, Steam apps, so common. And uh, let's say I want to create a profile for Marvel Rivals, which I just realized I don't have the game installed. Uh, so to make things simple, let's go ahead with ESports FC25, scroll down and you will find the FC25 executable. This can of course be any program, any game, you just need to find the executable. Once you find found it, go ahead and click on open. And uh, you should see the profile show up here. Uh, here it is, right here. So now I have an FC25 profile that's automatically added to my uh, G-Hub and I can select it from here, go back and now I can ed start editing assignments and sensitivity and lighting options based on when FC25 is running and that's how you can add a game to Logitech G-Hub. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what most of these videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology, follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.